Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tailor Inn. We are trying to finish what we started last week, which is the hot and cold water supply. We're trying to finish it right by all of that stuff, especially up in the attic and then in the kitchen area. In the kitchen, uh, unfortunately, I'm missing a couple um, connectors at the end. Um, they didn't either have them in stock um, that I still needed or um, I just didn't think of that one connector at one spot. So that's gonna be done com uh, completely that next week. But in general, we are getting wrapped up with the water supply so we can have a rough and pressure test um, for the hot and cold water supply too. Done here anytime soon. So this is still too long. The 20 foot pipe here that I bought is uh, probably about three, four feet too short. <clears throat> so I'll have to go much more direct way, a little diagonal through the middle of the room. I don't think it matters, but obviously I just have to drill all these holes again. So here's the two pipes that are coming from the floor underneath us here that go over to the vanity and it looks like I can just barely reach it so it's going to be just fine but just the minimum amount of length that I actually would need to get to that vanity. So. So I really like how this all turned out here in the attic space. Besides 
putting uh, a couple more clamps. Um, I need to put a board in between some time and just clamp this a little bit more secure. But in general, um, this is much easier than in the other floors. In the other floors, obviously, I had to put it inside the stud base because I obviously don't have a dead space uh, service utility room like I have here in the, in the third, uh, third floor. So in all the other floors, it has to go inside the studs so I can cover it up with some, some kind of removable cover so when we turn one to turn off the water but in general this is so this is obviously just a utility room that we are up here so it doesn't have to be so this is obviously very really nice so the only difference is between the floors below us and this floor is like I did explain last week uh, we have a recirculating uh, water in um, everywhere else but basically we teed off for this floor so um, every time you take a shower or use the, um, the sink, for example, and you want warm water, the unfortunate thing is, of course, it would have from the recirculation area up to here and plus the pipe where it's going then to your vanity or to your shower. It would obviously have to empty that in, uh, in case this section is cold. But um, compared to a normal house, this is sh still much a shorter distance. Um, in a normal house you would go down into the basement or somewhere where the hot water heater is so in that sense it is still a lot of less water that I have to empty I think I calculated um, even at the uh, sink if everything is cold um, and there's no heating at all in the in that line here on the hot line then it would take no longer than six seconds before um, we have full hot water from the recirculations um, back in there and it would have emptied the entire hot water lines and that would also mean that is if in case you're taking a shower it would only take like a uh, second or two uh, because it only has to empty out the small lines the small lines almost have no volume and the speed of um, the water coming out of the faucet and the volume there is obviously replacing a pipe like this um, in just a few seconds so that's um, the least of our thing. It's really just the, the one inch section here plus the one inch um, distribution here that is going to take a little bit longer. But even that is very, very minimal compared to um, houses that have it all hooked up all in the basement or so. So I have been getting some of those brackets here because they make it very simple to just stub out the hot and cold water supply for vanities. So it's really just a metal bracket and then these um, um, purple PVC um, turnouts, they just clip in. I have used them in the past downstairs in the uh, kids bedroom, but instead of having bought a metal bracket, I just used a short little stud. But now with the lumber prices, it is almost making no difference if you're buying a $4 bracket or a piece of lumber costs almost the same anyways. So therefore, um, this is making it much more convenient. This is actually the way it's intended. So you have a little bit more play with this than with obviously with a wooden stud that you have.
So one issue I ran into, I used the ice maker box for the dishwasher. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that the, dish uh, the ice maker box only had a 3 8 connector here. And obviously the dishwasher uh, will need um, a quarter, if not even a half inch connector here. So therefore, um, I might have to replace this valve. So I have already talked with uh, my plumbing supply guy if um, I can just change the front piece because it is threaded. So it looks like maybe you can just buy a different piece that goes in here. So we'll see um, how that goes. But I actually like the box. It's kind of why I installed it here. Be um, even for a dishwasher, because it all puts it neatly away in the wall. You have your, ca uh, you have your open space here and then the dishwasher can um, push all the way in without um, uh, kinking the pipe here that you're connect the, the connector here so we have a little bit more space it's giving giving us a little better uh, room a little more room <clears throat> when we install the dishwasher so i really like this box for that purpose So I just ran this cable. This is a cable that we can use um, for the oven. Uh, the oven is actually, in our case, uh, probably going, we haven't, we haven't chosen it yet, but what we want to do is we want to have it, um, either a double oven or an oven with a microwave on top. So it's kind of like a, a two unit um, spe uh, pay, uh, space. And that's kind of why also we have the dedicated microwave right above it. So I don't know if everybody remembers, but I have um, told you guys already um, kind of a little bit of how, how our layout is going to be. We have along the pantry here, we will have um, high cabinets and the fridge all the way on the far side here. And then uh, maybe a small little cabinet and then the, um, the, ray, uh, the, the oven and the microwave. And then it's going to start basically with a lower standard um, counter space area right next to it and it basically just goes um, like an L one time to the opening um, and then we will have one island in the middle of the room that basically allows us to have the cooktop plus um, some area for entertaining and just extra storage. We don't really want, um, let me show you here. Um, so this is the far side of the room. Um, you can see the post. Um, where the opening starts and then so we will have basically counter space over here and then an island um, over um, towards the center of the room. But we really don't want to put any cabinets above on this section of the room because it keeps the whole room a little bit more open. It doesn't enclose us in, especially when we are entertaining here on the island. It gives us that open feeling. Um, especially with the window right here. So it gives us open feeling um, in the rest of our kitchen. And then only the far side will have um, cabinets that go up to the top. And really the only reason why we're gonna have cabinets that go up is because we have the fridge already over there and then the combination between the microwave and the range. So therefore from that perspective, it really doesn't make any um, difference if we already have high cabinets if we do the rest of that wall. Um, in high cabinets too. So what parts of the water supply is still needed before we can actually connect it and start testing it all? Well, we still have the kids bathroom. The kids bathroom has a three quarter inch bathtub because we want to make it uh, fill up quickly. So we have to special order a rough in valve um, that is three quarter inch 
and then we also need to special order a multifunction um, roughing valve for the shower area um, since in the United States uh, standard roughing valves are always tub and shower combined um, they don't really have one of those multifunction in stock so we have to special order that but it should be here within a week or two so that shouldn't be a problem so we will get that um, uh, kids bedroom uh, kids bathroom taken care of and then we have a couple more um, spots before we can actually hook it up to the city um, and obviously need to get a few parts um, to hook it up to the city too there's a couple changes down there that I'm also making with where I'm gonna run this other uh, water supply line I think I'm gonna just run the line along the drainage pipe because that's um, same area where the water comes into the building so because of that I have to make a few changes down there and then um, then we will probably also get started on digging down the basement there so i hope everybody enjoyed this video um, give us a thumbs up uh, if you did um, it really helps um, just putting in front of people and then um, leave us a comment um, questions concerns um, or just say hi um, and i think i'll see you guys next time i turn on the camera bye